Welcome to my channel. This time, I will show you the solution to problem solving questions about properties of fluids, under fluid mechanics. But before that, please consider subscribing and clicking the like button to support my channel grow. This time, we will be solving this problem. Calculate the density, specific weight and specific volume of chlorine gas at 30 degrees Celsius and under pressure of 500 kilopascal absolute. The gas constant, symbolized by letter R, for chlorine is 117 newton by meter per kilogram by Kelvin. The first thing we need to identify is R given. First, R temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, R absolute pressure of 500 kilopascal, and finally, R gas constant of 117 newton by meter per kilogram by Kelvin. Next, the required in the problem is the density, specific weight, and specific volume. After identifying the given and the required in the problem, we can now proceed to our solution. The first value that we are going to solve is the density. To solve for that, we will be using the formula, density is equal to the quotient of p all over, the product of r and t. Where, p is equal to pressure, r is the gas constant, and t is the temperature. Substituting the values, we have, density is equal to r pressure value of 500,000 kilopascal, all over the product of gar constant value of 117 newton, by meter per kilogram by Kelvin and temperature value of 30 degrees Celsius, we have to convert our temperature from Celsius to Kelvin by simply adding 273. Also, we have to convert the unit kilopascal to Newton per square meter. We will use the conversion factor, 1 kilopascal is equal to 1000 Newton per square meter. We simply convert and we have, Density is equal to our converted pressure value of 500,000 newton per square meter, all over, the product of the gas constant of 117 newton by meter per kilogram by Kelvin, and the converted value of the temperature of 303 Kelvin. We simply solve and we have, 500,000 newton per square meter, all over 35,451 newton by meter per kilogram. We know that this is just the same as multiplying 500,000 newton per square meter, to the reciprocal of the denominator which is, kilogram all over 35,451 newton by meter. With this, we can now obtain the final value for our density of 14.10 kilogram per cubic meter. That is now the solution for the value of our density. Next, we can solve now for the value of the specific weight. To solve for specific weight, we will be using the formula, specific weight is equal to the product of the density and the acceleration due to gravity. We already solved for the value of the density. Also the value for acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per square second. Simply, we use direct substitution. Giving us, specific weight is equal to the product of density value of 14.10 kilogram per cubic meter, multiplied to acceleration due to gravity of 9.81 meters per square second. We simply multiply and we have a value for our specific weight of 138.32 kilogram by meter per square second, all over cubic meter. We know that kilogram by meter per square second is just the same as Newton. So, we have a final value for our specific weight of 138.32 newton per cubic meter. Finally, we can solve now the value of our specific volume. To solve for specific volume, we will use the formula, specific volume is equal to the quotient of 1 all over the density. We already solved for the value of specific density a while ago, so we simply substitute. Giving us, specific volume is equal to 1, all over the density value of 14.10 kg per cubic meter. We simply solve and we have a final value for our specific volume of 0.07 cubic meter per kilogram. That is now the solution for determining density, specific weight and specific volume of chlorine. If you wish to watch more tutorials with regards to this subject, you can simply visit my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for your support.